Welcome to our Kafka Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Kafka version 0.101.1. Our viewer is seeking clarity on three important properties, heartbeat.interval.ms, session.timeout.ms, and max.poll.interval.ms. Let's break down what these terms mean and why they matter in the world of Kafka. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's start by understanding the first property, heartbeat.interval.ms. This property was introduced in Kafka version 0.10 by one. The heartbeat.interval.ms defines how frequently the consumer sends heartbeat signals to the Kafka broker. This helps to maintain the connection and ensures that the consumer is still alive. Next, we have session.timeout.ms. This property determines how long the Kafka broker will wait before considering a consumer dead and starting a rebalance. If a consumer does not send a heartbeat within the session.timeout.ms duration, the broker will initiate a rebalance to redistribute the partitions among the remaining consumers. Finally, we have max.pollinterval.ms. This property sets the maximum time allowed between calls to poll before the consumer is considered failed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Let's break down Kafka's configuration settings. First, session.timeout.ms and heartbeat.interval.ms are closely related. Heartbeat.interval.ms determines how often the consumer sends a heartbeat, while session timeS sets the maximum time a consumer can wait without sending one. These two settings should be adjusted together. Typically, heartbeat.interval.ms is set to one-third of session.timeout.ms. For example, if session.timeout.ms is three seconds, heartbeat.interval.ms should be one second. Now let's talk about maxedpoll.interval.ms. This setting defines the maximum time between calls to the poll method. The consumer doesn't call poll before this time expires, it is considered failed and the group will rebalance. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. In Kafka, the heartbeat interval and session timeout are crucial for consumer management. The heartbeat thread sends signals to the coordinator at specified intervals. If the consumer doesn't send a heartbeat within the session timeout or max poll interval, the coordinator marks it as dead. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.